if you have the problem that you, for instance, have this person, what is it, a punk? I don't know, teenager. You want to put it into your animation and you want to have a speech bubble above his head. If I now would put in the speech bubble, call out, it's called call out. Let's have him have a speech bubble. Then you see it ends up in the middle as well. Now you can make it smaller, put it up here. But suppose you want to write something in the speech bubble. Hi there. It ends up here too. Now let's play this whole scene. What happens is first it draws this figure. I would do it faster if I were you. I would do it in four to one and a half second. Then it goes over to this bubble and then it goes over to the text. Now suppose you want to have it stay like this. You want the person to stay here. You want the bubble to appear while he's still on the canvas. And uh, also you want the text to get into the speech bubble, but not let the speech bubble disappear. Then you can do that with the camera function. Let's say we want him here. Then you can here click on this camera. And now you see there comes a second camera, means that this figure is fixed in its place. We can do the same with this, with the speech bubble, click, now it has a second camera, and you can do the same with the text, now the text is selected. Now if you now play it, look at, everything stays in place. To make it more beautiful, I would say, let him be drawn without a hand. You go to this little letter thing, click on it, click on the hand, and I will choose no hand. I apply it, but then I still have to say, yes, this is what I want for the image properties. So this is how you can use an image and have something on the same screen without that the program always takes you to the last thing that you have put in. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. You can do that in the comments below.